this. So um, what we're going to write here, we say is uh, is game available equals true, and um, we say is game uh, status. Do we call it status? What do we call our label up there? Do we give it a name? Uh, we didn't, so we'll call it status label. Forgot about that. So we'll say status label dot text equals at status. Sorry, right? Status in there, and we say v cop two is available. Now, otherwise, if it's not, then we're going to tell them it's not available, so they don't keep spamming buttons and think and wondering why it's not working. It's not, and it's going to be available because false. Okay. And that is pretty much it. Uh, and that's our game available time. And now our button should work now. So, as you can see, it's not available. And I'm guessing I typed something wrong, wrong on the uh, process. Process is by name. Vcop is not available. So, um, that's weird. That's very weird. So, the only way I can figure this out is maybe I've got that interval 250 modifier is private, true. They're both enabled. Nothing wrong with that. Um, my process dot process dot get processes by name vcop2 vcop2 nothing wrong with that yeah the game usually doesn't need to be highlighted or focused or anything like that to run just really weird that that's it's not available so maybe the timer isn't ticking I'm going to figure that out quickly so by doing that I'm going to do a quick check here message box dot show show So you don't actually have to have anything in there, but just say um, avail. Just do that. Make sure it's available. There we go. It is available. So that's not a problem. So the only way I can see this being a problem, so I've typed something else. So I want to check my reference. Not that reference. This is my name. V cop. So it's a big V, and then cop, and then two, and then if it was game available equals true, it is game available equals true. Um, label status B cop is available. Is not available. That is very weird. I don't know. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I made a mistake here. I was saying something. I was doing something else. So we're saying if it's not equal to zero, I did explain this properly. But for some reason, I put a one. I don't know. I did that. But basically, it's saying it's available now. So that button's working now for us, and that's good stuff. So sorry about that, a little stupid mistake there, but those happen sometimes. So next thing we're going to do is we've got that turning on and off as we want it to, and we're going to go to our um, update sheets timer, which is here, I believe. So let's get that, and then we're going to say um, if is game available. Let me say. Did I do two uh, thingies there by accident? I believe I did. Yeah, I did put an extra one there. Um, so if it's game available, then we say if is uh, ammo unlimited. Unlimited ammo, actually, not ammo unlimited. So yeah, make sure this is boolean here we're looking for. So we want to do this here, we're going to call it um, region unlimited. Ammo. That's our region for it. I'm going to cause that in the region and region. So that way we can easily close this. That's the beauty of uh, region. We can close this, not care about it whilst we're doing other stuff. So first thing I'm going to do is going to say my my memory dot um, read process, uh, and that will be equals my processes zero. So that will get the first one and we'll access it. Um, now we say my memory dot open. That will open up the memory within the program, so we can um, work with it. And then our next one will be int pointer address equals um, hex two deck. This is a function we're going to do in about a second. Um, I'm going to put uh, I think limited ammo. And we are converting the ammo pointer here. Ammo pointer. So 
we put um, hex to decimal so we get that uh, ammo pointer address and we convert it into decimal so, the, so that we can uh, access it um, and our next thing will be int pointer offset equals unlimited ammo offset um, so that will be ammo offset that seems right and next thing we do is we say int bytes written bytes written we don't need to declare anything um, that's weird why don't we pointer offset uh, um, I made a mistake there I believe in pointer offset um, yeah that's, uh, that's um, an array there sorry about that yep there you go that's fixed um, so bytes written we've done that and then we say byte Move that a little bit closer to me. It's a bit. So byte. It's moving the laptop closer to me so I can read it a little bit better, guys. So byte value to write equals bit converter. That's why we use one of the things there. Bit converter dot dot. Uh, that will be get bytes. And we're going to convert this value into bytes. So ammo to fill. Now we're going to get the 6 which is the ammo to fill and that's going to be converting to bytes so that we can write into memory because we can't write just normal decimals and so on we need to write in bytes. And then we say um, string written address. Now the reason why we're doing it as string is only so um, we can access it later so we can um, get that value and put it on screen if we have any problems with it. So written address equals my memory dot uh, pointer write. It's a fairly big function. I'll try and explain as much as I know whilst I'm doing it. So first thing you're going to do is go int ptr because this is a pointer. We're telling uh, the function that this is a pointer, um, and we're going to say point um, pointer address. Now we could be using the main one, but we're not doing that because we just want to use a local one in case um, we want to modify things later. So um, we send the pointer in there. Uh, next thing you know, we'll go value to write, and we write uh, the offset. That, so that would be the pointer offset because it needs the, the whole address. And then we say out bytes written, and that's that bit done. So we've done that function, and we've got that um, done. So we've done pretty much most of the memory writing. This be the final step with the memory writing and then all we say is my memory the close handle so we need to make sure we do this because if we try to open um, the memory address and it hasn't last time it's been used it hasn't been closed then you're probably gonna have a crash that's usually what happens so next thing we're going to do is we're going to write our hex deck function so that will be our, our method to convert from hexadecimal to decimal as you can probably guess by now so um, what we do here is we say <coughs> public oops, public static it can be private static it doesn't really matter int hex to deck um, now what we send in there we send a string right we send a string called uh, decimal uh, sorry, that's for the other one. So we send a string called hex. Okay, public static int hex the deck. And all we say is we say return int dot pass, and then we say hex because we want to convert the string that we just sent. In. And this is why we used I think uh, system dot globalization. As I mentioned at the top, I didn't remember why we used it, um, and that's why we used it. So hex number. And basically, what we're doing is we're turning converted. We're sending in this string with the hex number, and we're converting it into an integer, and we're sending it back to uh, as requested. So, next thing we're going to do is a similar one, but it's just the reverse of this first one. So, public static string because we're returning the hex number, and we send decimal. We'll put deck in there. Uh, that will be an integer, and we want to return uh, deck dot. Oops. Deck. Dot to string because we want to convert that decimal 
into a hexadecimal. Now this is something I've always wondered why they did it. If you put the hex in there, it returns the hexadecimal value of that decimal. So I think it's kind of a, it's quite a clever thing to do, but I never really wondered why they did it. But you say x, so you get the hexadecimal value out of it. It's it's fairly useful. <coughs> so we've got that. We've done the. Uh, We've pretty much got the unlimited ammo function going, now we just need to test it to make sure it's working as we want it to. So let's just run the program, see if everything's okay, we'll run it. Um, so here it is, so um, apparently it's letting me turn it on and off, that seems fine so far. So so I'm shooting at these guys and the ammo's coming down, so I'm going to try and turn it on, see if anything changes. And the ammo's still coming off, so I guess we've got some sort of mistake there. can be a few different things. <coughs> Let me just check. So if unlimited, if is game available, if unlimited ammo, uh, that's true. So memory that reprocess. I'm just making sure, comparing my other one, make sure I've got that right. Um, memory that reprocess. Um, and then we say uh, my process is zero. And then we say memory dot open pointer address equals hex to decimal. That seems fine, and that'll be the ammo pointer. And um, say offsets, get the offset uh, equals ammo offset. That seems fine. But it's written. Yep, I think this is all right. I my guess is uh, we just put one of the uh, well, my my bad if that's it. But we simply just put the wrong value in there, the wrong address. So the address should be 00 cf uh, one ac That seems fine. And the ammo offset is 28. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with these values. What the hell is that about? Oh, sorry. This is something you have to do in all of them. For some reason, I forgot about that. You need to write zero times that value. So let's run it again. Let's see if it works this time. So here I am shooting. Doesn't do anything. So we turn it on. And there you go, perfect. So our ammo is unlimited now. That is beautiful stuff. So, just spam it and make sure it doesn't come back down again. So, just kill a few people, no problem, we don't care about that. Get out of the way. Everyone. So that's that. Beautiful. So we'll just test it once again once it's turned off to make sure it's working okay. And it is. So our unlimited ammo code is done. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start writing now. Um, so we've done unlimited ammo, so we're going to do our unlimited health now. So just copy all these variables, they're quite straightforward. Just copy that and just change everywhere it says ammo to health. So unlimited health, oops, my bad. Health, um, just copy that. Let's go health pointer, and then go health offset, and health to fill. So we pretty much, um, we apply the same thing we applied on all the other ones to the first one. Um, so. Our address for this we found out to be so health offset. Um, we got zero two for this, um, so just two there. That's fine. Just make sure you, you got zero times or zero x that number because that tells it that it's a hexadecimal value. Um, and then how much health do we want to give them? We want to give them nine, Ooh, not sixty-nine. And um, we want to make sure our program keeps on the time it keeps ticking. Every time it ticks, it gives them nine lives, nine lives to make sure he doesn't die. So we got that done. So next thing we're going to do is going to do our health button. So this will be very similar to this one. Where's our other button? Here it is. And we need to make sure we copy it. Um, we copy it, but we copy the whole thing and modify what is necessary. So let's do that. If it is game available, that's a fact. If unlimited health equals true, we do that. I'll copy that to that and to that. And then we say unlimited health button B. There, that should be the same button, and that should be fine. And instead of one there, we have two. That's great. So let's just check quickly. Turn health on and off. That's fine. Beautiful stuff. Now we put the code in for the update timer part, so we can just do that now, which is quite good. So what we'll do is we'll go copy that, paste it here. Region we'll call it unlimited health, and then we say if unlimited health equals true. We say memory that. We open the, the memory, and we could technically write these at the top so that they're done for every single one of them. But I'm trying to keep things, you know, just straightforward for anyone, even a very new person, C sharp to learn this. So we say uh, we convert the uh, health pointer 
which is uh, Wawaja. 